All right, so let's talk about our bodies as women. Our bodies are not our own. Um, I'm just gonna shut this door a little bit, but let's talk about this. And I don't know, you know, when we talk about this, um, you know, with sex ed, a lot of times in school, we don't get all the truth. I remember being an AB student in school and I have a lot of gaps. A lot of stuff was not taught um, because I think partially because the nurse was embarrassed to talk about it. But um, also from a Christian point of view, you can pick up a lot of stuff later on if you didn't get it the first time. Our bodies are not our own, okay? And we have women out there screaming, this is my body, you know? It's not. Um, when you get married, Okay, your body is your husband's and it's also his body. You are one and you're one flesh. And so your body is made to enjoy each other's body. So um, where was I going with this? So our body is made so that men can enjoy our body. That woman, Our body is made for men. And I know that sounds radical, but it's true. Um, Look at any man, any man, and I'm talking about not men who claim they're gay, but real men who um, have a lot of masculinity, who are leaders, providers, protectors, great lovers. Those are the men who enjoy, uh, masculine men enjoy soft women. All of our features, the way we're made, our eyes, our skin, our hair, Everything is designed perfectly so that men are attracted to us. And this is the way procreation continues. And that is not the number one reason why sex is here. I mean, obviously procreation is a huge part of it. And, you know, we should expect once we're married, we are going to have kids. Because the main reason when we are married is to have fun and enjoy sex with our spouse and that's what we are supposed to be doing it's a gift um that the creator made he made us perfectly fit together and you know procreating having someone that's made in the image of you and your spouse is supposed to be beautiful um you know any man with enough testosterone is going to enjoy um, the woman's body. So that is what the truth is. Our bodies are made for men. So when we hear, you know, if people say this is my body that, you know, women are screaming that the truth is once you have been married, once you get married, um, you're supposed to enjoy your husband's body too. And therefore, if you take it down and you break this up and say, you know, not only is your your body made for your husband, but it's also made to be a mother. That is why your body is made the way it is. That's why you ovulate. That's why you have a period. So this is like basic, basic stuff. Um, I've had some hate mail already or hate comments. That's fine. It doesn't really bother me at all. I don't know why I'm immune to it. Um, but one of the comments was, um, well, I'm not even going to go there because it's not worth talking about, but, um, this is why, you know, when we do get the hate comments, this, it's the truth. I mean, people don't like the truth. And so we are definitely as a whole, women are not in their role. Um, you should want men around you. You should want men to enjoy you and to um, protect you and provide and lead and love you. Not only your husband, but other men who are willing to help you out. Men who are there for you. That's what you want in life. And our whole body screams um, that we're meant to be babies. And I don't understand why, you know, and I think it's really dumb. And I think it's really a shame that women feel that they need to be so independent that they can't enjoy a man enjoying your body. Um, 
when you start being that independent, you're actually hurting yourself. And I've left some messages um, in places. And, you know, another argument here is that, um, you know, women should be taking care of themselves too. I, I saw a post this morning where uh, people are holding up signs saying, okay, you know, we're going to not have sex because we don't have a choice with a baby. You know what? Abstinence works. If you don't want a baby, don't have sex. Um, and part of that too is taking good care of yourself. I see a lot of posts with women not taking care of themselves. They are grossly overweight. You know, I think we all struggle with the five or 10 pounds or 20 that we could lose, but grossly overweight. You are neglecting yourself. You're doing harm to your husband. You're doing harm to your baby when you don't take care of yourself. So we need to get in our roles and try to take good care of ourselves. I was brought up to know that beauty mattered. Um, beauty has a place. This is something you give a man when you take care of yourself. Your husband, you give this gift to him. Um, a lot of these women who are acting like men um, and screaming for their rights, it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. Life does not work that way. So you're out of, you're out of order and if you want to be happy, you need to get your, in your place and you need to understand your role.